Entertainment Genius. This is Team Yabate. Uh, good day, everyone. This is Team IBU. My name is Ibrahim Amin Mobi, and with me here is uh, Stanley Ubi. We are the team FP Team Mina. Mina. Hi, everyone. This is Umana Daniel Peter, representing Team Uniu, live at um, Clinton Innovation Center for the Engineering Genius Contest 2023. started with a presentation, we didn't add the visual brain teasers we had. Our brain teasers ended yesterday, so we have been told to present, um, to give the progress of what we've done yesterday and what we had in plan to do today. We are having an issue, and the issue we are having is that we, we don't want to um, rise the brain. We don't want to rise the brain. We don't want to rise so we are just writing each unit and testing Today earlier we have a presentation in the morning session that's when we came on to present our work so far, our journey so far and we actually did go to present to the, uh, to the uh, judges and show them how we are trying to work as a team to bring up the best of this family robot. Also we are also to address in our own plans. So far today, we had a presentation where we discussed about the progress of our activities so far in this place, and. Um, our presentation covers the uh, uh, covers the detail of uh, what we have been doing before now, where we are able to let them understand that uh, so far we are in the, about eighty percent of our project in the morning, and the project has been going well so far according to the uh, objective, which says uh, an alternative that is a robotic. Uh, machine that will serve as an alternative way of uh, controlling insecurity over farmers so that uh, these jobs the farmers do by themselves will be done by the robotic machine and which we have been on that and we are progressing so fine yes well we have been facing some challenges yes in the sense that uh, most especially logistic because uh, some of the components we need in order to put this together uh, are actually not av readily available within this environment we have to like order for it and ordering you have to pay some uh, uh, some uh, sh uh, uh, shipping and like that is way billing you have to pay some amount of money in order to get it and uh, all this is not considered inside the amount given to us in order to carry out this budget but uh, we are trying our best to see how we can make use of the local available materials around um, for our progress today we actually did not go into a brain teaser um, a session we were only asked uh, to use the time for our our uh, project and also um, we switch into presentation Based on presentation, we were given 10 minutes to talk on our progress so far and uh, the target was uh, clarity, um, teamwork, achievement and plan. We have refused to work individually as a digital motion machine. We work as a team to achieve this. So for our next board, uh, we will place up that, that 
you will come into the world. Some people will just come in Nigeria prices of food. Now, for our success, we have to know that we were visited by the mentors. They asked us how far our progress has been so far, and they asked us um, for uh, if any challenges we are facing that which we can assist us with. It's really been nice. It's really nice because it gives us um, this. Uh, it leaves some burden upon us. They are really there, and they are always there to like assist us in any challenge we are facing. You can see we are still currently working on a project, which is to make a farming robot. A robot that is intended to replace a farmer in a farm so as to reduce um, the risk of um, the farmers getting hurt by uh, the present insurgents and also to also increase um, agricultural activity and increase um, food production. So um, um, we, we started this project last week last week Thursday, although we couldn't get materials very quickly. So now we have uh, at least almost all of the materials we have and we've been working day and night stylishly. And we still have a couple of four or three days to complete this project before the presentation. So far so good, we've been testing each unit of this robot and we've been making significant improvement um, although we have issues, every day we always have issues and we always look for means to solve everything. What I don't deserve is the last step. But the children have kind of one for us to come up with the blueprint for everything that they raise that money. So that's the big challenge. And then as well, the university. But that much is our own part. I'm kind of working for the first time. You walk in the night. Okay, I think that we should be fixed. Uh, maybe that is uh, night. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to ask is, do you need support? Yeah, we need support, especially in terms of the guy that wants to move forward. The challenges we are getting so far is not that much uh, actually, it's just about the printings and all that and the, some of the components that might, we came to buy and some of might not, are not working, functioning very well, so we are actually working to change them and more the placement of the owner. I think that's all we have as a challenge for now. Um, well, it's very good actually to bring such a uh, project actually because this is one of the things that the sovereign is trying to kill the agricultural practice in the country and we are trying to bring a solution to it as engineers, that's what our work is too. And the progress actually now, we, as you can see, we're still compiling the components here, it's our work and here you can see the logo of our school. <laughs> Uh, the 3D printed this and also this is a laser cutting we're trying to compile our product to see uh, the farming robot our robot actually is a, a robot that we designed to farm to plant you know to uh, to plant to um, see it to water the uh, farmland and if you can see most of our projects were printed like we 3d print we laser cut and uh, we do so many things we even fabricate there are some metallic parts that we need to work form in the fabrication shop so far we are progressing and at this level i think we are i can say i can say that we are about 90 percent uh, done with our project because uh, it's just mere components to bring together and to start assembling mentors around yeah we appreciate their concern because uh, they are actually coming around to check on us to ask for our challenges to see where they can support yeah they are doing well that is very good and uh, that is one of the things i like about this uh, whole program where you have uh, access to human resources i think is what we need as young engineers entirely we need based on support we had support um, by uh, through the mentors visit they came around to give us 
uh, support, support in the sense that we, as uh, industry experts, they advise us on things to do and what not to do. We gave them our challenges and they told us we to come out, out of it. So, the actual role of the we should be making um, a fun production, production of until uh, instead of that manage, we should be able to eat as well. So, um, for, after that, we went on with our project. Um, we have um, actually done a 3D printing of some of the components. Um, we've uh, gotten the, the parts we, we ordered online and uh, we are still assembling some of the parts. Based on design, we've gone so far to the point that we are at the simulation stage. But however, the coding, the coding is just um, remaining for us to cross our T's and dot our I's. But to, for tomorrow, we'll be doing total assembly. Uh, for today, we are still going to continue till the, uh, the dead of the night because we want to achieve this. We want to solve the posing problem of Nigeria, which is food insecurity. Food insecurity in the sense that if there's no food, if there's no food, uh, it, will sky, it, will, it will skyrocket into other crises. See, see, hunger will make a good man to go and steal. So we don't want that. We want to solve that problem because the farmers in the north are faced with Boko Haram insurgency. So at that point, we will create a robot, a farming robot that will farm. The farming in the sense that it will dig, it will plant, that is seed, and it will cover the, the ground. Also do watering. We want to do that with um, the help of uh, the knowledge we've gathered here and before now. We will solve that problem and make the robot at, at, at an affordable price, very cheap, that even the common man can afford. Okay, once again, I'd like to say thank you to everyone, every of our supporters out there, um, our classmates, our friends, and our families. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for your votes. Your vote really counts, and we really, really would appreciate more of these votes coming in because this vote is actually till the end of the program. Thank you very, very much. And I would, I'd like to say thank you to the organizers of this program. Thank you, Clintonial Innovation Center. Thank you for every of other sponsors around this. Oh, so finally, I will say thank you to Nigeria Engineers uh, for this kind of event. I, I pray my, my school will come over next year to participate more in this and um, to win, not to just come and participate, and also to win this challenge. And thank you, Clintonial. Thank you, Nigeria Engineers. It's only this. And thank you to our fans also uh, for putting us through and we thank you for the 10 points you and help us to end journals today. And thank you. I appreciate the organizers of this program, especially the Nigerian genius. Yes, I appreciate them and the CIC itself. We appreciate their effort in bringing this innovation because this is an innovation. Yes, uh, there are so many uh, organizations and uh, engineering platforms that are beyond this level, but they never thought of something like this. But CIC is able to bring this as a goal to the nation. We are like calling for support. Please try support Team FU Team Mina. We are here to do the best we can to make sure we come out as a winner. So thank you very much. I appreciate you all. We will be thanking the management of uh, this uh, program for the uh, giving us the place to stand because um, we would have done little if not for the knowledge we gather from here. Uh, so we thank Clintonel Innovation Center, the CEO in particular, Mr. Tuchuku, for coming up with such idea. We thank Nigeria at large for supporting us. Thank you and God bless you. Nigerian genius.